Coverage of the historic indictment of former President Trump, as we mentioned at the top of the hour, sources familiar with the Trump case and pending arraignment say his indictment contains more than 30 counts related to falsifying business records to hide hush money payments during a campaign. Yeah, the investigation by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office began when Trump was still in the White House and relates to a $130,000 payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels days before the 2016 presidential election. So with a case involving so many players, we want to bring in Abedis News reporter Lauren Glassberg to take a closer look at that angle for us. Lauren. Well, Liz and David, as with any titillating story, this one is about sex, money, power, and cover-ups. The key characters include the former commander-in-chief, some of his former business associates, two women, and a prosecutor. Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, is the main player here. In 2006, while he was starring in The Apprentice on TV, he met a woman named Stormy Daniels in Nevada. Stormy Daniels was an adult film star, in this case, maybe her biggest star turn yet. She says the two had sex. Trump was married, and his son was just three months old at the time. Twice, Daniels tried to sell her story about Trump, but there wasn't much interest until 2016 when Trump was running for president. David Pecker, the publisher of the National Enquirer, was interested in her story, but he didn't want to print it. Instead, he wanted to bury it as a favor to his friend Donald Trump. Daniels got $130,000 to stop talking about it. That hush money came from Michael Cohen, Trump's lawyer and fixer. Cohen says Trump approved of the payoff to Daniels. After Trump was elected president, Trump and his company reimbursed Cohen. But those payments to Cohen were falsely recorded as legal fees, and that's a key component of the New York case against Trump. Cohen served time for campaign finance violations related to the hush money payments and is now a key witness for the prosecution. For Donald, since we're talking about convicted felons, see you on Tuesday, pal. Alan Weisselberg is currently serving time in prison for tax evasion. He was the Trump Organization's chief financial officer, and Cohen says it was Weisselberg's idea to reimburse Cohen for the hush money payments over the course of 12 months to make it look more legitimate. Karen McDougal was also paid hush money after what the former Playboy Playmate claims was a 10-month affair with Trump some 20 years ago. And finally, there's Alvin Bragg. He's the Manhattan District Attorney elected to office in November of 2021. He graduated Harvard Law School. He's black, and he could be the first prosecutor to bring a criminal case against a former president. And, of course, Bragg couldn't be moving forward with this case if a grand jury hadn't found that there was compelling evidence to do so. The former president calls all of it a witch hunt. Liz? Lauren, thank you. And that is just one of several investigations into the former president. Lauren, thank you.